I know you guys have been waiting to see and it's finally here. My pumpkin and sweet pepper update. So let's get right into it. Hey guys, it's your girl Farmer Chick and welcome back to another video. So before we go any further, ensure just to click that subscribe button guys. We welcome you, we're happy to have you. Now today, I want to give you an update on my pumpkin crop. So today, let's take you on that journey to show you what has been happening and how my pumpkins have been looking so far. So guys, after the major planting of our pumpkin seeds, I went to the farm every day. To notice <laughs> i was just anxious to see new growth to see what was happening the soil the soil quality and all and it was during a drought so i started to wonder now okay should i try to carry drums of water to truck water over there to just to um wet the soil to give it some life but then as you can see it is a big property um it really really did large-scale farming or we're doing large-scale farming so that would be hard so I watched and watched and watched and watched and then BAM! Growth! <laughs> Guys, nobody never excited like me. And from there on out, we were just moving full speed ahead. Hey, they're really getting big. Let me show you. Alright, that's them coming up. We come now to replant some other seeds. Over there, might need some. But right here, really good they're coming up let me show you some um we checked it about a few days ago oh, look here they're really pretty that's them and that's them over there so it's like a run off run and catch up each other and awesome take a look all right this is one this is one pumpkin this is the size this is a big one I'm gonna go from here this is a good size one and I'm going through to just check them we have little new ones coming up but yeah coming along on the hillside didn't really grow that much i guess we cut too much sun up that side i don't know but i think melon is here as well so let's try and find the melon so guys tired we have to pause for a cause we didn't check on my babies so now we need to check on our babies well my babies and water them and just observe growth and changes so let's look at our sweet peppers and here we have our sweet peppers the seedlings as you can see i'm gonna water them in a few we have down here as well yeah what we did we just created we got some zinc and just put them on top of some buckets and we created another stand now to put the top to put these other ones that we did the other day and trust me they're coming on nicely so here they are and i'm about to water what i did was i used a catherine um catherine speed bottle bore the holes at the top hopefully you can see it let me see if i can get it out of the sun so you see 
bore the holes and then I just water. So as you can see, your startup cost does not have to be much. Um, you just make use of the stuff around you. All you need to do is devote your time, exercise some patience, and you can get this thing off the ground, you know, and start up your own little your own little farm or your little backyard um, gardening so you can see and they're looking pretty ain't they, aren't they look at them they're coming on nicely it will soon be time to transplant just look at them we get up every day and we water well depending on the soil quality if you see it looking a bit too dry and you definitely know that you have to water so you have to observe them they're like your little babies so every morning I have to come and take care of my little children So guys there you have it that was my pumpkin and sweet pepper update and as you can see my sweet peppers are ready to be transplanted so guys ensure to tune in next week same time same place i know i've slacked off but don't worry man we'll come back next week to show you all of how the sweet pepper process went and the type of pumpkins that we're actually finding so you can't miss that you can't afford to miss that so let's see you next week the same time same place if you love this video Ensure to give it a thumbs up, share, tell a friend to tell another friend, tell everybody about it. Farmer Chick is back and in full swing. Bye guys!